morning. I know the lighting's a little crazy, but honestly, I'm just like really enjoying the sun on my face. And for some reason, I'm also enjoying looking like a crazy person when I start these vlogs. And to be honest, I've looked like a crazy person throughout most of these vlogs. Um, I just woke up. It is 8.05. I have my Halloween mug that I got at Home Goods. Have my cup of coffee that Mike so kindly made me. And I'm going to meditate, set my intention to have a good day today because I had a really awful day yesterday and I don't want to harp on it, but just to give you guys the rundown because, all right, I'm gonna fix that. I'm gonna fix the sun because it's kind of blinding me down. It's a little better. Okay, my room is a mess. I am clearly a mess. And Chloe agrees. This is a wee bit better. Yeah, my skin is a mess. Um, I had a pretty rough day yesterday. I got my period yesterday, and I don't know about you, but my periods are just like ragingly angry every time I get them. So I just feel like so depleted. I look like I'm so pale. I feel like I have no energy. I feel very like puffy. I need to like fix my face. Um, we're leaving the home today, so there's gonna be some exciting things to do. Um, but yeah, yesterday I woke up, got my period, left work, was commuting. Oh wait, no, I went to Saks first because I want to buy myself like an everyday handbag that fits a lot. I started buying myself nicer handbags as I've gotten older, just because I feel like they're a decent investment. I mean, some are definitely better than others, but honestly, it's a good investment for my happiness. Like, I just really love handbags. So I found this one from Celine. I'll put a picture on the screen. It's called the Romy bag. Went into Saks. Mind you, like, I've never had a good experience at Saks in New York City. Saks in New York City on Fifth Avenue is absolute trash. I bought Mike perfume one day, no, for Christmas one year. And they sent me an empty tester bottle. And then when I went to go send it back, they gave me a really hard time. And the perfume that he wanted was like this bougie ass perfume that was like $300. I swear to God, guys, I've never spent so much money on perfume. I was so upset. I got my money back. They told me I could exchange it. But instead I got my money back and I bought it at Bloomingdale's because I was like, F you sacks. Like, I don't, you know, I'm not gonna give you guys my money if you're gonna treat people like this. Um, so I went to Celine and the woman let me tr wouldn't let me try the bag on, excuse me. I might get a sneeze or not. <coughs> yeah, excuse me. The woman wouldn't let me try the bag on and it was like a very expensive bag. And she's like, oh, it's so lightweight. Trust me, it'll fit everything. And I was like, lady, listen, I'm not gonna trust you for this amount of money. Like, I'm not gonna spend this amount of money just because you said it's lightweight. Like, I wanna see what it looks like, I wanna feel it. It's like a very big investment. Hold on, what's going on? Am I getting sick? So I walked out, clearly didn't buy the bag because I'm not gonna buy a bag I can't try on. And then on the way to the bus, a bird literally shit all over me. And when I tell you that this bird shit all over me and I had absolutely no idea what happened and I went into a panic, all I felt was like a shot of like warmness and like I know I can totally be dramatic sometimes but the world is crazy everywhere. I feel like New York City is like the craziest it's ever been in my lifetime. So I felt this warmth and was like, oh my God, did someone stab me? Like what happened? Like I didn't know what happened. I just felt like a gush, disgusting of warmth on me and I looked down and there was bird shit all over my hand. And in this hand, I was holding my mask that I had, was gonna wear on the bus and I was also holding my little wristlet that's like a cheapy wristlet but like it had my phone in it and everything in it. So then I was like pretty far from Port Authority, like a 12 minute walk. So then I start like booking it to Port Authority because I don't have any napkins. I don't see any like stores that I could just readily go inside and get napkins. Oh my God, I look terrifying. Um, so I had to book it to Port Authority, wash my hands because I had to spend, so I literally washed my hands eight times. Washed my wristlet in the sink just like washed my entire soul, entire being. And then by the time I got to the bus gate, my bus had already left. So then I had to wait in Port Authority for 40 minutes. Then fast forward, I get on the bus, we get right out of the Lincoln Tunnel, and this man passes out in the middle of the aisle, like was sitting in his bus seat, 
passes out and falls in the middle of the aisle and then the bus has to stop. I mean, I felt really bad for this man. Thank God he seemed okay. And thank God there was a, a nurse on the bus literally sitting across from him. He woke up, he was conscious, the paramedics came, but like I sat there for like 40, 45 minutes. Got home late on a day where I'm supposed to get home early. It was just like a mess, it was a mess. Then Reformation, I ordered a bunch of dresses because my bridal shower is this weekend, but none of the dresses fit me. I ordered two dresses that looked so cute online. They looked awful in person, like so cheap in person. Meanwhile, they're between $250 to $300, which is very expensive for a dress in my opinion. I ordered two sizes of each dress, a two and a four and all of them were huge on me especially up here i was upset i went in the bedroom and i'm not even kidding you like i just cried on mike like that was the end of my day so i had a really bad yesterday but i'm not going to repeat the pattern i'm going to try and have a good day today i'm going to listen to a podcast or maybe meditate or read a book i need to just like saw today we're gonna go try my dress on, my wedding dress is, I think my final fitting, I don't really know, with my mom and my sister, which I'm not trying to be negative, but I hope goes really well because I just got my period and I'm very bloated, so I hope my dress fits me. And then we're gonna go pick up the cake. We're doing like a cake testing kit so Mike and I can pick the flavor of the cake for the wedding. My sister, me and my sister and mom are gonna go to breakfast, so I'm doing things today. We're doing dinner later. I probably shouldn't have talked to you, but I just like, wanted to do a coffee chat. I'm gonna enjoy my morning. I'll give you bits and bobs and pieces of it. And then we're gonna go try my dress on and I'll show you pieces of that as well. So, let's go. Beautiful. No, uh, thank you. It's pretty, right? So, it's, it's definitely true. So, it's I not care. focused at all. There and I just hope she's Touch the screen. Enough. I did, I figured oh. it out. I don't know. Yeah, the front looks great, I think. It makes all the difference. Let me turn. Yeah, turn on that. Take a step forward. Here we go, let's, let's go. I can't even speak. What a day we've had. Nordstrom Rack trying to find a dress. We'll be fine one, I don't know. You look very optimistic. Yeah. I don't know which one is which because she said that she would label them for me. Cake tasting. But let's, let's, try and let's guess. guess together. All right. We know this is Funfetti. Yeah. We know that this is cookies and cream. Right. We have Bella Rosa, which is hazelnut ganache laced with amaretta and layered with rich chocolate chip cannoli filling. Mm. That's, That's that cannoli. One. Yeah. Okay. Strawberry daiquiri is vanilla swirl. And then we have wedding white, which is vanilla sponge cake with classic custard filling, fresh berries, and lace. So I think that's okay. the wedding white. They all look delicious. All right, which one do you want to try first? You pick. You're the bride. Okay. I'm a little crooked here. Did I just make it worse? Yes. Which one do you want to do first? Oh my god, it's very hot in here. I don't really feel like it's hot. I'm sweating. I want to try this one first because this one's my the prettiest one, I think. This one? Yeah, this one. All right, so what do we what do we think this one is? This All right, should we, we just eat the ones that we know? We first. think this one is Bally's. So go ahead, try the Bally's. And let's this see one? If, yeah, let's see if we're right. Let's even see if it's Bally's. Hmm. Oops. I contaminated You're making a mess. <laughs> It's very light. I don't know if that's Bailey's though. I think it's Bailey's, but I agree with you. I'm not sold. It has to be based on what they look like. Devil's food chocolate cake. Confused. That's Bailey's. Okay, I feel mad about that, if I'm being honest. You feel it's mad It's not really about it. exciting me. It's okay. What do you think? I would eat it, but. I would eat it. Yeah. Okay, which one do you wanna try now? You go ahead, pick. This has to be the strawberry, strawberry daiquiri. daiquiri, I would think. Love how they didn't label these for us. She said she was gonna label them. And didn't. And then she taped it up and I was like, this bitch definitely didn't label them. What do you think of that one? It's good. They're all good, but I don't feel excited about that either. That one's heavier. I actually like that one better. It's a heavier cake. Okay. I feel like we're getting more bang for our buck with that one. Whatever you think, you're the accountant of the family. I am not. Not an accountant. What about this one? This one? This is gonna be your favorite. I know, that's why. Yeah. Do you want to save it for last? No, no, no. And they gave us the smallest piece of it, too. This is great when I have my period. Hazelnut laced with amaretto and layered with rich chocolate chip cannoli filling. It's my least favorite, to be honest. Wow. Oh my god. What? Do I have COVID, though? I'm not really tasting much. Like, I don't feel like these are very taste tasteful. Is that a word? It's like meh. I like cannoli filling, but I think the strawberry one is the best so far. Okay. In my opinion. Funfetti? 
if you want your wedding to be like a three-year-old's birthday party. No. It's out. I don't like that. I think we really need to analyze these better and show the camera. Oh. Let's see. This is the fun Fetty. It's fun and Fetty. Good point. That's like a denser cake. That's boring to me. Yeah, I didn't like that at all. And okay. not that it, it didn't out. taste bad. It's it not bad. None like of them nothing. are bad. It didn't taste like anything. I'm really excited for this one. For this one. You know I love an Oreo. It demonstrated for the camera. Okay. What kind of showman are you? I know. Not a good one. Wow. Can you click it so that it... Click the cake? Yeah. Thank you. Focused. Look at that. It follows it. Uh, that, what wow. A, what a camera. What a camera. It's really old. Oh, didn't I get that for you? Mm-mm. Mm. It's a little boring. It's not like a wedding cake to me, I don't think. I love an Oreo, though. It's out. I'm out on that one. Not, it it's like really whatever. The bride cuts the cake. Wedding white. Tap it. Tap it. Make sure you tap it. You have to tap it. My amazing looks were distracting it from the cake. Look at that strawberry. What a strawberry. I like that one. Mm -hmm. I think that one's my favorite. But your sister is allergic to strawberries, so how are we going to pick a strawberry cake? We're not picking a strawberry cake. We're picking a cake that has strawberries on it that she could take off. No. This is going to be the inside of the cake. What are you talking about? This is going to be... It's going to be layered. Oh... Um. You know how the outside of a wedding cake is like decorated? Can they, can they do more than one for us? She said she could do more than one. But our two favorites are strawberry. Mm. So. <laughs> no That's cake. That's a problem. No cake for Amanda. All right, what do you think? Which one was your favorite? I mean, if I had to pick one, I would pick the wedding white. Yeah, me too. I thought the best tasting one was the strawberry one. Interesting. I'm going to try it again. But Let's show them the strawberry one because we didn't demonstrate. I thought the... Oh, I just butchered it though. <laughs> my girl okay you show them yours you try it again <laughs> you're dropping it everywhere mm -hmm. and i like the other one better the wedding white yeah okay here okay it's raining cake look at that cake oh yeah but it's that's better now that we went back yeah I think should we do a different rotation now no i think the wedding white is the cake i think what we should do is i think we should save this and try them again tomorrow as of right now we're picking that one which is the most basic one but i think it's the best we're done for the night i think we're done for now okay yeah eat that because nobody wants it mm. yeah go jk oh oh i like this belt oh i bought you that belt oh. <laughs> anyway it's like a thousand degrees in here can you do me a favor what? Can you give me that bag? This bag? The big bag. Should I wear those shoes with this outfit? I think that would look good. Okay. Okay, I will. All right. Do All right. Um, do you want to see my ticket that I got today? $35. $35. And the cop got me literally five minutes after it expired. Trash. Ugh. Oh wedding we went and had my dress fitting and the bustle looks crazy but it's fine i don't really know it took my sister like 25 minutes to put the bustle together because it's like seven buttons for the bustle and i don't even know how long it typically takes people to do a bustle but like i don't remember a bride going away for 25 minutes and you know waiting for her bustle to be put together so that was a little concerning um and it looks really puffy but apparently i mean i talked to the seamstress i talked to the shop owner they said they can't do anything about it because i have horse hair in my dress again i know nothing about wedding dresses but apparently it's because the material is like a little stiff so it like protrudes out i don't know i feel like it'll look fine but maybe it won't we'll see it'll be fine we have no choice. We're going to dinner in Bloomfield with Kelly and Paul. That'll be fun. Oh, I got a dress for the bridal shower. Thank God. We went to TJ Maxx, Nordstrom Rack, and then we ended up at Saks off Fifth, which I don't know why we didn't go there first. I forgot that place even existed. It actually used to be Lomans, which if you remember Lomans, Lomans was my jam. Um, and we spent like four hours shopping so i'm pretty sure my sister like hates me but i had a really nice time she is like the most 
efficient shopper ever. And I told her that every time I go shopping, I want her to be with me because she literally like picks everything out. She like picked everything out for me. And then she helped me get in and out of everything. And like every time I took something off, she would like hang it in a split second. And then I would sit there or I would stand there and say, oh, I kind of like it. I kind of don't like it. And she'd be like, absolutely not. You hate it. Like if you're hemming and hawing and that means you don't like it. So it was very efficient. I also got a pair of really cute sunglasses. And I got a super cute jumpsuit that I was gonna wear tonight, but it's like really hot out. And now I'm just putting a little bit of makeup on. Can you give me like a 10 minute warning? 10 minute warning. Are you serious? Oh, okay. What are you wearing? Yeah. Wow, you're so skinny. I don't feel skinny. I, I don't feel skinny either. And the, the seamstress today told me I better stop losing weight. You better stop losing weight? Yeah. I just had four pieces of cake. No, that doesn't even count. We had like four <laughs> bites of cake. <laughs> Oh my god, I don't even know what my makeup's gonna look like for this wedding. I just haven't really been like doing my makeup that like seriously, you know? Well, I feel like you need to. I know, I feel like I need to and too. I feel like we need to find some time to go through wedding things. Listen, why don't you make a list of all the outstanding things? Because I'm gonna be honest, I love you to death, but you annoyed me when I was freaking out. And then you were like, we have too much more to no, do. No, I feel like I'm doing everything right now. You said, what else is there to do? And I said, a lot. Yeah, well, what is it? See, Brogan's mad too. Rogan better watch himself. What else is there left to do? Well, let's not talk about it now. Let's not get you mad. But we'll talk about it at some point. Rogan, how was your day? I don't want to Okay. Um, Chianti? A red would be nice. This camera is like not zooming in. I'm like really liking this and I kind of thought that this was overrated. Charlotte's Beautiful Skin Foundation. Really very nice, but I'm still really loving this NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. Are you gonna go pick out a wine? I kind of wanted to do some eyeshadow, but I don't think I have enough time. So I'm just doing the same basic skincare I've been doing. Maybe I'll do like a fun lip, like a pink lip. I have all these summer lipsticks that I haven't worn this summer. So maybe I should try and find them. Oh, I think I got rid of a lot of them though. Hmm. I don't know. I really need to like go through my closet and like purge things, but I feel like I do that every season and then I don't have any clothes. And then I just complain that I don't have clothes. I just don't like anything. The cake tasting. I called the bakery yesterday to uh, pick up a cake tasting kit because apparently that was something that they started doing during COVID where you could call the bakery and they would just put together a kit and you could bring the cake kit home and try it in the comfort of your own home. Getting to that point was like a disaster though because they told me that you could only cake taste from the hours of 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Monday through Wednesday. I feel like we had this conversation, but like no one is leisurely cake tasting during working hours because how do you afford a wedding without a job? So anyway, I called the venue. I don't know if I told you the story, but I called the venue and then the venue told me that they offered the cake tasting to go. And so I called yesterday because I was gonna be in the area doing my final fitting today. I went to the bakery and the bakery was like, sorry ma'am, we don't have your cake tasting. Um, the other Calandra's because it's the chain the other Calandra's has your cake tasting because the venue that you're having your wedding at Offers different flavors that we don't carry after I stood in line for 20 minutes Waiting for someone to help me. So there was that that was fun. So then I Drove to the other bakery and the woman at the counter told me that there was no cake tasting under my name um, when, right before I left the other place, I asked the woman at the Calandra's that told me they would have my cake tasting, but then didn't. I asked her to call the other bakery to make sure that they had it. I just called, they have it, it's ready. I get there and I totally pulled a Karen because the girl at the counter was like, um, I'm sorry, I don't see a cake tasting pickup for Fortune. And I'm like, ma'am, can I please speak to your manager? because I was just at the other one, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so the manager comes out, right? And she comes up to me and she goes, I'm so sorry, what's going on? Tell me what's going on. I told her the whole story. And then she literally said to me, oh yes, I'm well aware. Then why did you ask? Why did you ask? Whatever, long story short, I waited for like 15 minutes for the cake tasting, which like at that point I was just ready to have the kit because I wasn't sure if it was coming. So I waited for 15 minutes, even though I was told it was already ready. So that was kind of annoying. So it was just like kind of a wash and everything just took a lot longer 
than I had anticipated it taking, which was annoying because I had a lot of things to do today. Um, but it's okay because there are way worse things in life and I'm just gonna let it go. So I let it go. And then obviously you guys saw the cake tasting, but like a lot happened before the actual tasting of the cake. It was like a nightmare. But yeah, so now I'm rushing to go to dinner. So I literally drove to Essex County today to go do my um, dress fitting. And then I went shopping. Like I just told you when I visited my dad, I brought him um, lunch from Calandra's Bakery, the first one that I went to. Can you guess how much a sandwich was? I got him a sandwich with turkey and Swiss, lettuce, tomatoes, and onions, $17, $17. When she told me how much it was, I almost fell out of my chair. Inflation, a serious thing, but it's fine because my dad like absolutely loved it. And my dad, um, like I, I've mentioned, I don't even know if I've mentioned though. I'm just gonna say it, my dad's sick. Um, he has cancer and he is going through chemo at the moment, but he would, like really hasn't been eating because he doesn't feel well. So I can't believe I just said that. That felt really weird and now I feel like I'm gonna cry, but I'm not gonna cry, I'm gonna be fine. Um, but he hasn't really been eating, but he ate the entire sandwich and he said it was so good. And I was like, anytime you want that $20 sandwich, you call me, I'll drive to both Calandra's just for you because it's important that he eats and he keeps his energy up. You know, a blessing in disguise that I ended up going to the first one. I'm just gonna finish my makeup because I think I have, I have like 10 minutes, that's enough time. I'm literally just doing the basics. I'll put all of the products that I'm using down below in the description in case you're interested, but it's pretty much uh, all the things that I've been using. One brow is so much bushier than the other one. Oh, that's nice. Is that a new shirt? No. Have I seen it before? Is it like what you do where you say that you bought it years ago and you never wore it? I think I've worn it twice. Or you've had it for years and you still have the tags on it? I've worn it twice. Oh, with me? Or, or with someone else? I don't know, with you. Right, that's rude. Um, you should only remember me. Ten minutes. Oh, thank you. Can you hear me now? What's happening? Can you hear me now? It's like Verizon. Can you hear me now? Okay, bye. Maybe this one? Okay. I'm not even gonna tell you what this is because it's discontinued. I think I want a lip liner though. A brown one. Maybe spice. Look at the difference. I love a lip liner. What's oh, like perfect? Hold please. Literally running out the door, but I wanted to show you the outfit. Reformation dress. So cute. Don't look at this mess, I need to clean it up. And then M Jemmy shoes. And my little Valentino bag. I just hate how this like wrinkles so easy. I kinda wanted to like, ah. I really like this candle.